Mark Zuckerberg says Meta was pressured by the White House to censor COVID related content in 2021. Rebecca Castor tells us the Biden administration is brushing off that accusation. Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg just threw a major punch in the big government versus big tech matchup. In a letter to the House Judiciary Committee, which is investigating his company, Zuckerberg admits Facebook was pressured by the Biden White House to censor content related to COVID-19 during the pandemic. Zuckerberg writes, I believe the government pressure was wrong and I regret that we were not more outspoken about it. And adds, we're ready to push back if something like this happens again. The actual data that we now have related to the pandemic demonstrates that these positions they were suppressing, that many of them were actually correct and that the public would have benefited from having them out there. On that point, a White House official told Fox when confronted with the deadly pandemic, this administration encouraged responsible actions to protect public health and safety. We believe tech companies and other private actors should take into account the effect their actions have on the American people while making independent choices about the information they present. But that's not all Zuckerberg included in his letter. He also admitted Facebook was wrong when they demoted the Hunter Biden laptop story ahead of the 2020 election. When you saw Twitter and Facebook censoring that story, the message that was sent um, was that it, there was something wrong with it, that it was inaccurate. You saw huge abuses of power. I hope that we don't see that kind of uh, pressure from governments again. Mark Zuckerberg also says he is staying out of politics and he will not be making any donations this election cycle. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox News.